The Fourth and Fourteenth Amendments prohibit unreasonable searches and seizures and require search warrants to be supported by probable cause. Probable cause means a reasonable belief that a search will find evidence of a particular crime. But when police have probable cause to search a place, does that give them probable cause to search any people who are there as well? The United States Supreme Court considered that question in Ibarra v. Illinois. The Illinois Bureau of Investigation obtained a warrant to search the Aurora Tap Tavern and its bartender for evidence of drug possession. When officers entered the tavern, they found approximately 13 patrons present, including Ventura Ibarra. Agent Jerome Johnson conducted an initial pat-down of all patrons to check for weapons. When Johnson initially frisked Ibarra, he felt something suspicious in Ibarra's pocket that he described as, quote, a cigarette pack with objects in it, unquote. After patting down all the patrons, Johnson returned to Ibarra and frisked him again, removing the object from Ibarra's pocket. It was a cigarette pack containing six foil packets of heroin. Ibarra was convicted of unlawful possession of a controlled substance. Ibarra filed a pretrial motion to suppress the evidence seized from his pocket. The trial court denied the motion. The Illinois Appellate Court affirmed based on a state statute that permitted law enforcement executing a premises search to also search anyone present under certain circumstances. After the Illinois Supreme Court denied his petition to appeal, Ibarra appealed to the United States Supreme Court.